Hey Pisces, welcome back to the channel guys. Happy Friday. Alright guys, this is the Pisces channel. Feel free to flip the energies because it could be you, it could be your person. You could be a Pisces, they could be a Pisces. Flip it. If it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. It's just not your shit. But one day I will grab your shit and shake you for the world to see. One day I'll get your shit. And when I do, whether it's good or bad, don't come at me, guys. But my collective is a cool collective. I like you guys, right? And we're growing. All right, guys. I also read for the collective under your inner chakras. So feel free to come and find me there. Actually, under your inner chakras, that's where you'll see me on social media. Under your inner chakras on IG and on TikTok. From time to time, I show up and I do shit right so but not really so much over here i don't really show myself over here I, I just i just don't whatever all right pisces but intuitively what's going on and everybody that purchases this deck they say when they grab it it, it just resonated with them like they can feel it so guys get the intuitive deck get it and while you're there check out my other decks too Pisces I never talk about my cards or my others but I'm gonna start on both channels I need to if you're doing it girl push it all right Pisces what's going on intuitively one more ground let's get it it may or may not resonate guys I'll try to make it I'll try to make it as best I can I'll try to make it personal at least with one card I'll snatch your shit because your soul knows and I'm gonna tell you something Pisces when I first started playing with this deck just now, that card flipped first. So your soul knows something, right? Your soul knows. It's almost like your intuition. Oh, shit. Pisces, I'm a wild card for the new ones. You never know what you're going to get. Do your soul knows that you're about to get engaged too? This is an engagement ring. This isn't the wedding band. This is the engagement ring. Can your soul feel it, Pisces? Do you feel it, Pisces? Anybody? Going once, going twice, any Pisces over here feel like you're about to get engaged to? Anybody? Your soul knows, Pisces. Somebody knows something. Somebody Intuitively, somebody is thinking about getting a ring for you. Guys, pay attention to your person. Are they saving money? You know, are they always talking about they broke? Your soul knows, Pisces. Your soul knows something. Somebody's been on Tinder. Somebody created an account on Tinder. So maybe your soul knows that, yeah, somebody's going to engage themselves to you, Pisces. But they also got that Tinder account that they don't want to let go of. Now, see, Pisces, I'm a wild card. So if you don't want to hear these things, because I'll flip this shit. La, la, now. Especially on a fuck it up Friday, because I do things. So, they want to engage themselves to you, but they contemplate, do I really want to get off Tinder? Right, Pisces? Is that what we're getting here? That goodbye keeps showing up, too. I'm trying not to get it. And here's this disco lady. They probably found somebody on Twitter who likes to party, you know? Maybe that's who they found. Like, maybe your soul knows. Maybe a person... I guess when they come into you, Pisces, Lord, when they come to you, Pisces, they want to be loyal, Pisces. But they could have a sex addiction. They probably like a variety, right? So that's their problem. And then with the variety, check it out. Light brown, Puerto Rican, or Haitian, right? So your person, Pisces, somebody, oh, your soul knows, Pisces, your soul knows. So Pisces, somebody... They want to be loyal to you, but they have a persuasion for a lot of other things. They want to be loyal to you, but they contemplate and get rid of this Tinder account. They're like, if I'm loyal to you, then I can't play with Betty no more, right? Can't play with Sunshine, but this one, yeah. So your soul knows something, Pisces. Your soul, your intuition, go with it. Go with it, Pisces. Somebody wants to engage themselves to you. Yep, they're going to take this bet. They're going to take a bet. They're gambling, Pisces. Somebody wants to take this bet on you, Pisces. They want to engage themselves to you. That's what they so want. 
but their flesh is like, don't you let go of that tender account. They boys could be like, don't you let go of that tender account. They girls could be like, don't you let go of that tender account. They're like, no, I want to be loyal. I don't want to dip it into it the way that I used to do it. With all of that, right? So this person here is about to hang up their player hat and take a gamble with you, Pisces. And if it's not you, Pisces, feel free to flip it. Right? It could be a reverse. Your person may not be a Pisces. You may be a Pisces watching for your person. Right? Y'all know. You do not have to be a Pisces to watch this page. You could be dating a Pisces, seeing a Pisces, fucking a Pisces, screwing a Pisces, married to a Pisces. Period. Somebody that's Pisces like, somebody that's on the cusp, somebody that's Pisces, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, right? It's all Pisces. Then again, Pisces is all 12 signs. So if you're not watching the Pisces channel, you need to watch a Pisces channel because your person's energy. <laughs> Whatever, guys. I don't want to mess you up. But your person is thinking twice about engaging themselves to you because they don't want to let go of their fun fun. And they fun fun comes in the form of a Twitter account and a lot of other money. A lot of other money. Right? Right? Holy Spirit for Pisces. Happy Friday, Pisces. Your soul knows. So your person wants to engage themselves to you, but they don't want to let go of that, that tender. Look at them. Do I really want to take this gamble? Do I really want to take this gamble? Hey, if your person got to think that hard, if they got to think that hard, keep your Tinder account. <laughs> Go soul, soul your wild oats for the rest of your life, right? Because if that's the choice, to be married or to keep your Tinder account, you don't want that anyway, Pisces. You don't want that anyway. It's like a gambler, right? Or a drinker, or somebody who just can't get enough, right? And whenever they feel like things ain't right, they're gonna go right back. They're gonna swipe that tender. You don't want that. If somebody, if if the choice is between getting engaged and keeping a tender account, you don't want that. Please, okay, okay. So they're gonna take this gamble. I guess you're a risk, Pisces. Look, King of Pentacles. I told you, they're gonna come in and razzle and dazzle you. The only thing is, this person isn't anything emperor like. Ten of Cups in reverse. And they're dropping their burdens. They're dropping something. So your person could be in a connection, right? They could be ending something. And while they was doing that, uh, uh, unhappy at home, they had a Tinder account. So now it's like they got to off somebody and off an account too. Yeah, they stopped putting work in. They stopped putting work in. They had this eye on this, this Queen of Wands though. Who's not thinking about them? Nobody but themselves. But what is this? So your person, Pisces, is thinking about. They're not telling you this. So they want to be a king now, right? They want to be a king. They don't want to be this lack thereof of this emperor that's in reverse. So they're thinking about dropping all this fun, this ten of cups here. They're thinking about dropping all their burdens with this tender account here, right? But they didn't put in any work when it came to this queen of wands here. That's probably how they ended up on tender anyway, because they didn't put in any work. So now this Queen of Wands here is like, it's all about me. But they can't stop thinking about you. It's like this person is torn. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This may not be your person, Pisces. They're definitely not following their intuition. And they're also ending something. They're ending a Queen of Pentacles here. Three of Swords in reverse. Was this person married? Your soul knows. Your soul knows. 
because it's Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse, Ten of Wands. This person could have been married, already married, and got caught on a Tinder account. Either that or this person wants to engage themselves to you. But it seems to me that this person, it seems like this person got three things going on. It looks like they're actively ending a divorce, ten of cups, all of that, dropping their burdens because of some deception, right? But then over here, they want to engage themselves to you. But they're torn between dropping their tender accounts. So they're going to take a gamble again to get married again. But I guess when they were unhappy in their marriage, they created this Tinder account, but they don't want to drop the Tinder account if they come be with you. Page of Pentacles in reverse, Knight of Cups. This person in reverse, Hierophant in reverse. This person is ending a marriage. It's like they're ending a marriage for marriage. They're ending a Hierophant, guys, to go and get engaged. So whoever they promised this to, whoever, they could have been engaged, married, or whatever. Whatever they promised to this person, Ten of Cups in reverse, Ten of Wands in reverse, they're dropping it for someone in their past. They want to go and marry somebody in their past, but they're struggling because it looks like they've been married before. And the shit didn't work. So they created a Tinder account. Guys, I know this sounds crazy as hell, but go with it because I can't make this up by myself. Yeah, you're the empress. You're the one I want. See? Eight of Cups in reverse. They want to come back to you. I believe your person was married. Unhappily married, right? Yeah, see, you, you ended that. I think your person was unhappily married, divorced now. You probably didn't know it. So in between there, they could have made a Tinder account to meet other people. I don't know if they met you on Tinder or they met other people on Tinder. But now they're getting serious about you. They want to engage themselves to you, Pisces, or flip the energies. You may not be a Pisces. You may be something else. Or your person may be a Pisces. Whatever. I don't know. But now they're thinking about engaging themselves to you or doing this marriage thing again. But they torn between, do I want to get engaged again? Or do I want to stay on Twitter, I mean on Tinder, and have fun every day? What the hell is this, Pisces? This is going to resonate with somebody. Yep, they coming. They swimming away to common waters. They want to come and celebrate with you. I told you. They do have some regrets because they messed up. Look at them. They want to come and balance things. They want to equal give and take with you now, Pisces. What else, Spirit? Ace of Swords. They cut people out. Oh, they could be coming back with some fuckery, though. Because they still have that Knight of Wands energy attached to them. So be careful about that. And they say everything's going to be fine. They land on their phone. They're like, everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Talking about deleting their they Tinder account. They probably won't, Pisces. Be careful. It's going to be you against a Tinder account. And that's probably why they got a, the first divorce. Lord. Because they're torn between Tinder. They're torn between tender, tender, and moving on. They involved a lot of people, though. They're up in their head. I think this person is actively getting divorced, wanting to engage themselves to you, and confused about deleting their tender account. This person needs help. Collective, you may move on. Two of Wands, you may leave this person out in the cold. They're going to want to work with you, though. But I don't think there's going to be any new beginnings here for you, Pisces. If you are a Pisces, you ain't with this shit. Yeah, no new beginnings. I told you. I can see it before they come. You ain't with this shit, Pisces. You, you moving on to your own victory. Pisces, no. No, no, no. Some things, Pisces, I just won't <laughs> let you sign up for. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit it that hard. That was loud. I apologize. But no, Pisces, you're not signing up for this shit. I believe you're dating somebody that's actively getting a divorce. But go with your soul knows. Somebody's actively getting a divorce, thinking about engaging themselves to you, but they're torn between this new engagement, a failed marriage, and should I keep my fucking Tinder account? Boop. 
They got issues. I say, hey, if you're torn between, sir, ma'am, if you're torn between engaging yourself to someone in a Tinder account because you want to have fun, you're not ready to be engaged. By all means, keep your fucking ring. Don't even go search for a ring. Keep your Tinder account, sir or ma'am, and go have fun. But what you don't do is involve other people into your mess. Go have fun. And when you ready, then come back. But until then, you're not going to put a real life person that's ready up against some bullshit. A Tinder account with some people you don't even know all willy-nilly who's also fucking people all willy-nilly. That's a Jurassic Park banger. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. That's nasty as hell. It's nasty. Don't nobody want that. The fuck? Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'm sorry if you do have a Tinder account. Bam! But that is the hookup site. It is what it is. It is what it is. Peace.